So on the quest to find more hilarious patch notes, because I couldn't possibly imagine that Dwarf Fortress and Sims weren't the only ones that did anything hilarious, the lovely people at PC Gamer have put together a list of games that do have hilarious patch notes. Dwarf Fortress and Sims were included, so I'm not gonna read those ones, but I will read everybody else's. And the only game I know on this list is Skyrim. So once again, I'm sorry if I don't understand some of the jokes, but to me, I think it's more hilarious when I go into a game's patch notes completely blind. So here we go, we're starting off with Boiling Point Road to Hell. Collision. Grenades do not remain stuck in walls when launched. Prisoners do not remain stuck in walls when delivered. Trees have collision. That's right. No longer will you be able to drive your car through a tree and come out the other side unscathed. You drive into that tree and crash it like a real human. Fixed. Dog does not cast shadows. Oh, the idea that possibly there could have been a game theory where Boiling Point Road to Hell could have just had an entire army of ghost dogs. Matthew Patrick could have been all over that. Or Matthias Patrick. Whatever the formal, ridiculous extension of his nickname is. Fixed. A metal clinking sound plays if the user's character stabs the curtains. Are you telling me that in Boiling Point Road to Hell that the curtains are not made out of metal? That, that's, that's very misleading. That sounds like a really cool curtain idea. Chainmail curtains. Give me that. Optimized. Bodies of drivers accumulate over time. Whoa. So you telling me I can just sit in my car and get completely ripped? If that's the case, I'll go back to my job as Uber. I'm gonna get shredded! Two Pink Moon has been adjusted. Oh, thank God. Because I know a tiny little 10-year-old elf boy that was completely traumatized by the Two Big Moon. Police station cannot be destroyed by a crossbow anymore. Frankly, I would... Of course, the people had to be outside of the building. I would like to see a building get blown up with only a crossbow. Just once. Just once in my life. Moving on to Crusader Kings 2. All Byzantine emperors will now have clothes, regardless of what DLCs are enabled. Ooh, I mean... <laughs> thank God. I mean, I... You can love your emperor, but I don't think you want to see all of the sweaty folds of your Byzantine emperor. That's just me. Can no longer press the Create Hungary button multiple times. Look, man, have you had Hungarian food? I would love to have five more Hungries just right next to each other and just go to all those Hungries and have all of their food. Let me hit that button. Let me slam that button. No longer possible for AI to plot to assassinate self, unless they are a lunatic. A lunatic AI. That would never go over well. Celibate characters should no longer be worried about their conjugal love life. Good. Good patch. Made Buddhist ambitions easier to fulfill. Which I'm pretty sure is kind of hilarious, because we're all about relinquishing worldly desires, but cool! Impregnation of lovers is now handled in the code. Yes, very simple now. Control, all, conceive! The hordes will now be more prone to head in the right direction. Because, you know, when you name your army Horde, you can already tell that the intelligence level is right up the wazoo with them. Louis Dievereux, I think. I'm going to be, I'm sure I'm going to get cut flack on that one. Has, now has the correct mother. Oh, Thank you, Crusaders Kings 2. Louis finally got his mammy. Tweaked death date of Mubisher, Duke of Mallorca, and made him eunuch. Ooh. I mean, I guess if that's historically accurate, good. But that is, uh, that's also just like, by the way, uh, your dukeness, um, we got your death date wrong. And also we have to, uh, cut off your hangus dingus. Wait, what? Fixed an issue with some plots where plotters did not get what they plotted for. Ooh, I found a new tongue twister. Polly, the enraged plotter, did not get the plot that they plotted for. Moving on to the secret world. Cross-dimensional marketplace. Finally, everyone can get their dingleborps, plumbuses, and their plumbobs. Removed a renegade semicolon to appease the code gods. <laughs> I like that one, code gods. I'm sorry, my holy code god. I put a semicolon in the wrong place and it just went all the shit. Get good, my son. It is now impossible for players to make their characters nude. Ha <laughs> ha, you have to 
to look at your character like a normal human being. Certain heals will no longer generate hate on friendly targets. Ooh, that had to have been awkward. Bro, did you just fucking heal me? No, 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 man, I'm oh, sorry. Bro, bro, I wanted that scar and you took care of it? Fuck you. You are no longer able to get stuck between the bookcase and a chair in Dracula's castle. I do not know what happened. He tried to come and attack me, and then he saw my copy of The Art of War and tried to sit in the chair. Next thing I know, he's now stuck in the space-time continuum. Added audio to Dr. Aldini's flash sawing animation. Ugh. Rough. Movement speed while dead will now scale with your current rank of sprinting. Ah, uh, yes, because in the underworld, they care about stats. Players will no longer have to move in order to stop dancing to the music from the boombox. Well, okay. Survivors <laughs> with bare arms are now less likely to become traitors. Tony, do you think we can trust this guy? Yeah, man, look at him. He's got bare arms. It's a surefire sign he's not a backstabber. Time for Daisy. Action! Players can now let themselves fall off ladders. Whee! Character! Added Kuru disease for eating raw human steak. <laughs> Finally, consequences for eating humans. Gear! Earthworms are now stackable! Can you imagine life in DayZ before that was a thing? Hey, hey John, you coming? I, I'm sorry, man. I just got... I got all these earthworms in my pocket. I guess... I, I can't go forward with the mission. I don't know what to do with all these earthworms. Throw them away? Hey! I've been collecting these things for three years. It's my fortune. Player, you can now skin humans. Ugh. Uh, no. Character will now say, My clothes are soaked instead of, I am soaked when soaked. Oh, God. Thank you for that fix. I am soaked sounds absolutely disturbing. Hey, babe, you ready for tonight? Oh, oh I am soaked. I think it's time for you to go. Animations fixed an issue where vomiting was not working properly with two-handed melee weapons. Remember, kids, when you're using a Zweihander, your regurgitation process might not work. That's why you got a dual wield, like everybody else in the game. Animation. Face palm doesn't make the player stand up from prone anymore. Hmm. Nope. Still not working. Actions. Books. <laughs> <laughs> Zucchini can be force fed. <sighs> the imagery is not okay. On to Rust. I know my brother plays this game, but I don't, so here we go. New moon. Depending on the moon cycle, night is no longer pitch black. We think this is a good thing. Thank you, Martha Stewart. Resources should maybe, hopefully not kill you anymore while harvesting them. G good I don't like the idea of just rabid ore coming at me. Wildlife should not jump up and switch to random angles anymore. So now they're your DeVille. Grass runs twice as fast as it used to. Grass! Come back! Grass! Why'd you run away? Doors will no longer fly away. Doors! Where are you going? It's hot outside! Come back! Nudity and censoring will now display as pants. It's being worked on. Your boobs are now pants. Your dick is now pants. Your butt is now pants. Everything that is inappropriate on you is now pants. Grass isn't as tall anymore. It should perform better. Oh, good. You mean it was worried about its performance issues when it was, you know, super tall, but thank God you fixed it. Good job, Rust. Colors are now illegal. Ooh. I'm not touching that one. Let's just move on to Skyrim. Don't back here. Fixed occasional issue where a guest would arrive to a player's wedding test. <laughs> that would explain a few things. Fixed a rare issue where a player could become stuck in Night Mother's coffin during Death Incarnate. That glitch didn't happen to me, but it happened to the person I was dating at the time when Skyrim was really popular. 
fixed instance where player could get stuck in Jaffet's folly. Ooh, his folly is moist. Fixed an issue with NPCs sleeping with open eyes. I mean, when you play Assassin, they probably want to sleep with their eyes open. In To Kill an Empire, Gianna will now talk to a player with certain diseases. I mean, she wouldn't talk to you before when you had the rat disease. But now that you have bacanthropy, she's all up in your biz. Fixed issue where transforming back to human from werewolf would occasionally fail. <laughs> I don't see that as a problem. Fixed rare instances of couriers who would appear only dressed in a hat. I mean... I didn't have a problem with it because it was hilarious when they said they had a package for me when they were only wearing a hat. Bugs introduced. Dragons occasionally flying backwards. <laughs> oh my god, that would make the first dragon quest so hilarious. There he is! It's the dragon! Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's, it's flying away. But it looks like it's coming towards us. I thought, no. They... What? And now it's now it's a train. Why is it now a train? What is happening? And those were other games hilarious patch notes. So I hope y'all had a good time and I'll see you on the next episode.